I seen a yearbook photo of you, mm -hmm. and you were missing your beard. Yeah. Missing your beard on the yearbook photo. Yeah. So your yearbook photo looked weird without your beard. How long have you had your beard for? Uh, I've off and on. I, I started growing my beard. I, I was missing my beard because I still had my fucking hair. Like, so once I lost my hair, then I, this is all I got, baby. I treat this motherfucker like a baby. Like, I be in the beauty supply store buying products and shit. I treat this, this is, this is all I got left, baby. I, I take care of this motherfucker. Like, so I've had it off and on since I went bald. Like, I used to have a, a light one when I was real young, but it was patchy. It hadn't grown all the way in yet. But now, you know what I mean? I done had it. This one I done been growing for, I think, about seven months, seven, eight months, I think. But, uh, you know, I done had one off and on and cut it off and start back over because you barber niggas out there want to show how tough you are and take a nigga lying down. Now my shit be looking like a chin strap with coochie hairs hanging off the bottom. Like, you know, so it's hard to keep it the way, you know, you, you know, people who if they know what you look like, they know you got a big beard, too. So it's hard to trust somebody to keep that line right. But this all like this the only line I got. I miss shape ups like a motherfucker. So if you gon' if you gonna hook this up, you better. You know, you better be nice with it. So, uh, you know, I, I definitely I definitely have been growing this and taking care of this since I went bald. And I went bald young. I started losing my hair, you know, what, 23, 4, 5 years ago. So, you know what I mean? Now, what made you say, okay, I have a few questions. What made you say, okay, I'm just going to rock the bald look? At uh, what point did you tell yourself, I can't do this anymore? Let me just listen, rock the bald look. When, when I started to look in the mirror and started to see my scalp. Like most niggas ain't never had to see their actual scalp. Like, unless you didn't had to go bald. Like when you start to actually see your skin on your head, that lets you know, man, it's time to let that shit the fuck go. And I refuse to have a George Jefferson. I'm not about to be walking around with the George Jefferson and uh, I can't have the plies. I can't have the shit. My shit can't, my shit can't look like the bat signal. I'm sorry, I you know, I'm good on that. So. You know, no disrespect to nobody. I mean, if you if you can rock it and get away with it, then cool. But my head too big. I got a big ass head, so my shit starts way back here. I'm gonna look like a Klingon warrior. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm just gonna go all the way bald. So I I just you know when I and like I said, I lost my head 23. So I was like, man, hey, I'm gonna go bald, and now I know what I'm gonna look like for the rest of my days. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and start now. I ain't even gonna wait it out. And then, you know, I just cut it all off, man. I just, I ain't want to walk around with the, uh, with the Stephen A. Smith. That, that ain't want to do that. I was going to ask you what the meaning behind your beard was, but I guess that answer would be you're bald up top, so you want something Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, uh, to me, honestly, it's symbolic of just consistency. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, it's a process, man. Like, as you go through that process of it being close, and then it's like start to grow and that shit don't be that attractive when you first, you know, you got it. I call it the ush kush stage when you got to, when your shit is like just low and you looking real, you know, you, you looking real matted. So it's just a sign of consistency to have the consistency to where it gets long enough. You can actually pick it and, you know, do stuff like that to it. You know what I mean? So it just, it's just a, you know, if you can stay persistent enough and consistent enough. So when I look at this, I just, it just reminds me of, to stay consistent. Don't ever quit. Just push through whatever. Push through the ugly phase. Because everything you do got an ugly phase, no matter what it is you're doing. If you out here trying to get on or rap, tell jokes, working in an office building, you got to go through the ugly phase. But if you get through the ugly phase, then, you know what I mean, shit can start getting pretty for you. So you just got to push through it. That's what a sign of me. And, and then as far as beard care, what do you do for it? Oh, man, listen, Specifically. Man, listen, let me tell you something. I, I think I need to start doing Instagram posts like these hoes with the T and shit. Like, cause I, I literally, I, man, I go to the beauty supply store and be in a beauty supply store having full on conversations with the Korean ladies. And then I be catching, you know, you know, I catch a sister or two and they be like, sweetheart, look, what do you think is the best leave in conditioner for a beard? And they be like, oh baby, come on, let me show you over here. This right here is, this is a, uh, you know, this is they always excited to talk to a talk to a man about stuff like that. So that you know, and then you know, the ladies always keep me keep me together. You know, and, and telling me the products to use. So I, I just you know, I use all types of shit: leave-in conditioners, you know, coconut milk shampoo, coconut milk conditioner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can't go wrong with the pink moisturizer lotion. That shit had your shit glistening. 
That shit hit like diamonds in the night when your shit got the pink moisturizer lotion in it. And uh, you know, I just I just take care of it, man, because I feel like God punished me because I ain't take care of my hair the way I was supposed to. So I'm going to treat this motherfucker like a bad bitch. I'm just, everything. I'm doing everything I can to keep it together. Do's and don'ts with a beard. Uh, don't eat pussy and not wash your face immediately after, nigga. Boy. You get that crust in this motherfucker and you don't even know because you can't feel it. You know what I'm saying? You be walking around with that coochie crust in your beard and you can't pick that shit out. You try to pick that coochie crust out, them hairs gonna start popping out your shit. Fow, fow. You be like, God damn. Nigga, I think I'm bleeding. I think I done cut myself. So yeah, always wash your face immediately after being in some pussy. Uh, also, you know, I would probably say, you know, just take care of it, man. Wash it. You know, it's hair. As my uncle tell me, man, you know, he one of the top hairstylists in the country, man. Shout out my uncle, Nat Lewis, man. I got to give you a quick plug, unk. But, you know, it's hair, man. So take care of it like you take care of hair. Don't don't just think because you a man you ain't got to wash your beard and all that because that shit holds smells. You done been in the club drinking Hennessy and smoking blunts, nigga. Your shit smell like Section 8 tub right now, nigga. You trying to talk to somebody and your beard smell like gas station Toilets, nigga, you need to take care of your shit. So that's that's pretty much it. Always wash your face. If you got one of these, just hit your face real quick with a with a cloth or something. You know what I mean? Just go wet your mouth and get that get that crust up out of there, niggas. That shit lock up like cast. You ever had a cast? Seen a nigga with a cast? That shit get hard like cast. You can't you almost have to cut your shit, you get some coochie stuck in your bed. 